Today we're going to take a look how we can remesh our high poly mesh from ZBrush and InstaLots. And as you can probably judge from the video length, it's a fairly easy and quick process. So this is the finished project actually in InstaMat and I just wanted to show you the low poly mesh. So this is the wireframe. And yeah, we're going to texture that in the next one. So let's now take a look at remeshing. Okay, so after we loaded our mesh into InstaLot, we will choose the remesh operation. And as you can see, this is our high poly mesh. So when I click on it, it's quite dense. And basically we won't change too much here. So the fuzzy face count target will be left at normal. So this is mostly good for real-time applications like game engines and such. We'll change the resolution to high and for the UVs, we will set the unwrap strategy to hard surface actual. Um, for the bake, I'll just leave it at CPU. You could also use GPU. Um, then let's go here to the texture output. And what we'll need to be baked will be the tangent space normal. We'll probably won't need the object space, so I just leave it off. We'll need an AO. We'll don't need custom textures, but we'll need vertex colors and mesh ID, as well as curvature. And then let's change the texture resolution to 4K. And I think that's it. So when we click process, InstaLot won't only remesh the mesh, but it will also um, UV unwrap it automatically. So let's just click on start and let's see the output. So again, this will probably take a few minutes, so I'll just make a quick cut. So the remesh operation finished now, and as you can see, we drastically reduced our poly count to 47,000 polygons. And it's still quite dense, but I think it's okay. We could further optimize that, but I go with that. And as you can see, the mesh looks quite good and our vertex colors baked as well and our normal map also. So in general, that's all what we will do in InstaLot and now we can go to file. Actually, let's select that. Let's go to file and export selection. And let's go to this final folder here and let's call that column LP. Let's save that. So we exported our low poly now and in the next video we can already start to texture that in Instamat. Okay, so that's it for remeshing and again as you could see this was quite easy and fast. And of course we're going to do that with the other part of the wall as well. And in the next one we're going to texture this column here. So thanks for watching and see you next time.